Going border restrictions aren't going away anytime soon. Today, the Department of Homeland Security announced it's extending those restrictions, and our Salvador Rivera is tracking the new developments for us in tonight's border report. The original restrictions went into place on March 21st, and ever since then, traffic heading south has been fairly slow, as you can tell. Same can be said about cars coming into the U.S. Now we're hearing that these restrictions will remain in place for another 30 days. Lots of green arrows heading into Mexico. It's an easy go between San Diego and the city of Tijuana. Fewer people on foot are also crossing the border. It got so slow, Customs and Border Protection shut down the pedestrian crossing on the west side of the San Isidro Port of Entry. The essential travel border restrictions to prevent the spread of COVID-19 have really slowed things down. I can tell that people on both sides are trying to stay at home. Axel Astorda says he crosses the border almost daily to get to work in San Diego. Like him, people who work, U.S. citizens, legal residents, and others with legitimate reasons are being allowed to enter the U.S. The restrictions will remain in place for another 30 days. That's perfect for me. Like, only essentials should be crossing, to be honest, for people that are really in the need to cross like nobody else. There's no reason to cross right now to even be out of home. I think it's all a bunch of hype, really. It's obvious Chris Carroll doesn't care for the border restrictions. Today, he was on his way to Tijuana to purchase medications. He believes the new controls at the border are not necessary. I don't even know anybody that knows anybody that ha ha even has it, so it's uh, uncalled for. I don't really think it's you know, going to matter much, I mean, whether it's another 30 days or not, you know. Like it or not, the restrictions agreed to by the U.S. and Mexico are here to stay for another month. Salvador Rivera, Border Report.